Okay, so Betsy's got $75. She's going to save some of it. And we're going to have to work out what 40% of $75 is before we can even think about how much money she's spent on this bag that she's bought. So um, we've got to try and find 40%. Uh, 40%. So how do we go about that? Well, listen to the actual word. 40 per cent of. That's what the English says. We're going to translate that English into maths. Per always means divide. Cent means 100. And of means times. So I'm going to do exactly that. 40% of. That means 40 per cent of 75 and that's going to tell me how much money she put in the bank she, she saved so let's have a little look so 40 per cent of 75 equals 30 so she saved 30 dollars and she's going to spend the rest so i should really work out how much money she's got to pay with really shouldn't we so if she's had $75 and she's going to keep 30 back, we should be able to work out how much uh, money she's going to spend. So she buys a t-shirt and a bag, okay, and the bag is $12 more than the t-shirt we're told. So um, let's just quickly work out how much she's going to spend. So. 75 take away the 30 she's saving leaves her with 45 dollars to play with okay and uh, we really need to come up with an equation now so we can work out the cost of this bag so we're not told how much the t-shirt costs but i can say that let's call it t for t-shirt plus something that costs 12 dollars more than the t-shirt that that t plus 12 in brackets is the bag equals $45. So I'm going to write the bag above that bracket so I know what I'm talking about. Now I can see that T plus 12, which is the bag, plus another T, that's going to be two T's plus 12 equals $45. Now if I take 12 away from both sides, I'm left with two T-shirts costs $33. And therefore if I halve that 33, I get one T-shirt costs $16.50. Of course, we're not asked to find the cost of a t-shirt. We want to find the cost of a bag. That's what the question asks for. And we know that the bag costs $12 more than the t-shirt. So, um, six, let's write down the sum. So $16.50 plus another $12. Add those two together and I should get the price of the bag. So it looks to me like she spent $28.50 on the bag. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the, uh, the examiner's re report. These questions are getting a bit harder now, aren't they? So that's, I, wonder, I, I suspect a few people didn't do really well on this. Most candidates plucked up the first two marks and then mucked up the rest. Okay, so let's see what kind of marks they were. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, so let's have a look at the uh, mark scheme. And they're all M marks, so to get that A mark at the end, you're going to have to get those M right. And yes, they've pretty much done the same method that we did, didn't they? 